So I suck at Polaroid photography. I've gotten lucky with some shots, but it's still a form of photography that I feel pretty insufficient with. So no joke, I was out here and I got pooped on by a bird. Ugh, nasty, ugh. Okay, you see how clear that sky is? I was standing not under a tree, but under the sky. You know how infinitesimally small the chance was of bird poop landing on my arm? I have never been pooped on in my life I, uh, by a bird or actually anything. I should just say anything. I've never been pooped on by anything. My next big challenge is a road trip where I learn to teach myself to think in Polaroid. It's kind of its own medium, separate from photography in some ways. You have to think about composition differently, lighting, pretty much everything. You have to think of it just in a different way than we're used to with like an SLR. And I'm not super comfortable with rangefinder, so the Polaroid i2 being more rangefindery than like the SX70 is a big difference for me, and it does make usage kind of a different experience. But the SX70 is a camera I also love, and it feels more like a regular camera because it's an SLR style camera where you look through the viewfinder and you see the picture you're actually about to take, rather than the i2 where you look through the viewfinder and you see a slightly different version where you're tilted to the left and it's not gonna be quite the same. And you're not seeing what's in focus and what's not in focus. And I really do love my SX70, even though it doesn't do double exposure. But it's needed some help for a long time. My SX70 has been a great camera and I've used it a lot, but it's kind of felt gross to use. It was given to me by my father-in-law, and so the leather was rotted off, cracked, dried out, and so it just felt kind of nasty and needed some help. So I've decided to spruce it up a little bit. When I worked at a print shop years ago, I kind of did a half-ass sort of sprucing up of this camera in that I got pieces of canvas, cut it to fit the SX70 to kind of cover up the, le the nasty leather so that I could use it comfortably. But I decided to finally do like a real refresh and spruce this thing up a bit with some actual good looking SX70 leather. And uh, it took a while. It was really gross. I had to chip I had to chip away at all this like old crustiness with a combination of a razor blade and rubbing alcohol. Eventually though, I did catch a lucky break where it I started to be able to pull off large chunks at a time. But I was still able to get through quite a few episodes of Smallville while doing this project. Probably took about three to four hours to to when, by the time it was all said and done. Also, this ended up being a total mess. And like a dummy, I didn't start doing this on my cutting mat, so I got these like nasty leather shavings all over my desk and in my uh, coffee as well. So, had to throw that out. I 
think the toughest part about shooting Polaroid is embracing the medium. When you walk around with just like an 85 millimeter lens, you think about everything a little more zoomed in than you normally would. Same with Polaroid. When you walk around the Polaroid, you start thinking of things in squares and in shapes and forms rather than details and texture. So the SX-70 is much easier for me to shoot as an SLR guy than the i2 is. And so the i2 has been kind of a learning curve and I've really struggled with it so far. Uh, and more on that in a future video for sure. I definitely appreciate the crutch of the viewfinder on this camera. And I also love that I can kind of manually focus on whatever I want. And now that this thing is like much nicer and spruced up, I'm definitely gonna put it in my Polaroid rotation, like for real, but I need to be focusing on practicing with i2 to get better with it. So, you know. Using the SX-70 is like a warm blanket. It's like the Leica of Polaroid cameras. So it just it just feels nice to use. It's wonderful. It does feel like you're breaking it every time you open it, which makes me nervous. And one day I feel like it's just gonna completely fall apart. But other than that, I love using this camera and I'm excited to kind of continue this study of the Polaroid medium. You can follow me on Instagram at Will Malone. My Polaroid Instagram account is at RoydRage72. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bad Polaroids resulting in me losing tens of dollars with every shot.